Hi, DG Berna. Thanks Hi, so Macy. much. Hi, Macy. Welcome to the BSP. Thanks so much for having us. We're very excited to see what's in your office right now. So what are you most excited about in the BSP? I'm excited about our Palenque QRPH Plus program with the DILG where we promote cashless payments in the Palenque and all our tricycle hubs all over the country. What can we expect from Palenque QR in the next few months? Um, we plan to expand it in every province and every city of the country. We are seeing super, yes. super cool art behind you. If you can uh, walk us through a little bit of what you have here, it's um, exciting. These are all from the BSP Museum. The BSP probably has one of the best art collections in the country. So I, I actually choose art not because it's a name brand, but because I like it. it art is naman subjective. So this is a Tabuena. I like it because it's happy. And then this is uh, Cesar Legaspi. And look, it, it's just happy. It's called Three Musicians. So a quick throwback to your Department of Tourism days. What is one underrated Filipino dish you wish more people would eat? The one I really like is etag, which I found in Sagada. Well, I actually discovered it when I was with the Department of Agriculture. And it's really, you can only find it in Sagada, that etag, but then you can cook it with pasta and it just tastes so delicious. What is that one overrated Filipino dish you wish more people would keep on eating? Um, lechon, you know, every cele Filipino celebration has lechon, but for me, ha, lechon is different for, for every province because they use different ingredients. What's the one local Filipino ingredient you wish more people would use, especially when you were doing BA? Any ingredient in the arc of taste of the slow food movement. It's basically um, products, agricultural products that are in danger of extinction if you don't buy it and the farmers won't grow it. What is one destination in the Philippines you wish more people visited? I like Sikihor. Uh, I visited it during the pandemic and I just enjoyed the beaches and it's just so beautiful. If you could instantly become an expert in anything, what would it be? Cooking. I love to eat. So kulang na lang, I should learn how to cook. It's okay, you bring them all the ingredients anyway, so that's perfect. Can we see where the magic happens inside? Mm. Um, this is my office, but they're a bit shy, so they won't show their faces. <laughs> So they're now covering their faces because they don't want to, but <laughs> welcome. Okay. Uh, these are all uh, BSPers. They're hard at work, but this is just my inner inner office. Yeah, we're the ones disturbing. So thank yeah. you for having us and sorry for disturbing. If you could be remembered for one thing you achieved at the BSP, what would that be? Um, you know, I still have more than a decade to go here in the Philippines, but probably bringing the BSP closer to the people. Who was the first person you called when you found out about your new role as deputy governor? My kids, because you know I'm a widow, so um, everything I everything's about my kids. So they're the first to know anything when it comes to um, good news in the family. What is the best thing about your job? The best thing about my job is I still get to go around the country and help the unserved and underserved. What is the hardest thing about your job? For me, nothing is hard because I enjoy my job. So it doesn't feel like work because I like what I'm doing. So is this your office you're walking yes, into come in. right now? Come in, here. Perfect. So everything in my office is local. It's, it's because I just love local. I mean, because you're just so beautiful. So everything you see here is local. Some um, I bought from Cebu. Some I bought from my travels all over the country. And I see you have a few common quests here yes. also. Um, sneaking up on us on the corner is a beautiful Anita Magsaysay Yes, Magsaysay look at painting. that. Um, that's an Anita Magsaysay Ho. Um, again, I would have chosen it even if it were not an Anita Magsaysay Ho because it's just so beautiful. So I also have an, um, a, a few, a three Amorsolos. So as I've said, the BSP has the best, I think one of the best art collections in the country. So just a few this or that questions for you right now. Beach or mountains? Uh, mountains. Local market tour or fine dining experience? Local market tour. Historical tours or eco-adventure? Depends on my mood. I probably would go for both. Microfinance or leadership microfinance, training for women? Microfinance, without a doubt. Um, the microfinance in the country has helped so many women. So, microfinance. So, E-wallets or debit cards? E-wallet. We are the biggest fans slash stalkers of your Instagram account where your support for local art and design are well known. Can you give three of your favorite local designers or brands? 
I love Len Cabili of Philippine Ina. I've been ordering from her over a decade now. She's probably the first to get from our indigenous tribes and then make mod modernize it a little bit. And the others I like, JC Bundia, Ina Soto, Dennis Hustico, but all local designers. How do you prefer to pay for your orders from them? Uh, digital. I never, I don't have cash. Um, since the pandemic, I always pay via my e-wallet. What do you think is the most important thing to happen in the banking and payments world in the last 10 years? Digitalization. I wouldn't know what would have happened to us during the pandemic if we, we didn't have um, digitalization. How would we have been able to pay our bills, uh, pay anything when, when there was a lockdown? What is the one thing in payments you wish would stop or change? Hi. Uh, I wish it were more affordable. Um, sana wala nang transfer fee. Because how do you encourage people to use their e-wallets if it's expensive? So I wish that no more transfer fees and more affordable for everybody. Oh, absolutely. That would be great news for the NSDAQ merchants who have to pay them right now. Mm. <laughs> who do you think benefits the most from financial inclusion? The unserved and underserved. Where do you hope to see the Philippines five years from now? I wish that we would be 100% financially included and financially healthy. What is the first thing you do in the morning? The first thing I do is I check my messages in my phone. How do you take your coffee? Black. What does your ideal day look like? Ideal day would be I wake up and I have no meeting, so I don't have to wake up using an alarm clock. So on your desk right now, we see a little picture of your dog Biggie. Yeah. Uh, we always see them on your Instagram also in your other rescues. Uh, what is your favorite funny thing that they do? One thing about Biggie, she's the smallest of all my five dogs, but she's the alpha. Everybody's scared of her and she knows it. I, I actually think that Biggie does not think she's a dog. Because the way she looks at all the other dogs, parang, parang she's with me. She doesn't really play with them. She's, she's, anyway, she's the boss. What's one special talent that your dogs do even before um, you got them? Nako, they'll do anything for food. They will sit, shake, basta you give them food. <laughs> this one over here, I think, we want to talk a little bit about another beautiful piece. It's like this is an HR Campo we have here. Yes, um, as I said, I chose this because it's happy. Again, all my paintings are happy. I don't, I don't choose if it's a name brand, if it's a national artist, I choose paintings if it makes me happy. If you could form a team with any three women from any time period for a secret mission, who would you pick and what would the mission entail? Um, you know, obviously I just love to eat, but I can't cook. So I would probably choose Doreen Fernandez would be number one. Doreen Fernandez, uh, was the champion of Filipino cuisine when it was not popular to promote Filipino food. Number two would be Nora Daza. Why? Because back in the 70s, she opened a Filipino restaurant in Paris. So that's how, she, how much she believed in our Filipino cuisine. And third would be, again, connected to food, Margarita Flores. Because um, way back when it was not Usupa Farm to Table, she was already joining me in all my, going around the country, looking for all this... Uh, ingredients from farmers that, that she could bring it here in Manila and cook. And what's their mission? Our mission is for them to forage, look for all these unique uh, indigenous products, and then cook for me. That's their mission. What advice would you give the young girls about to enter adulthood in the next decade? My advice would be don't be afraid to make mistakes, but also learn from them. If you could choose any woman, past or present, to learn from over the course of just one dinner, who would it be and what would you hope to learn? No, Doreen Fernandez pa rin because, you know, Doreen Fernandez, as I said, championed Filipino cuisine, whether it was the most expensive or the most karinderia, because she believed in it. So I want to learn what, was, what entered her head for her to, to do what she, what she was doing. What does the term women empowerment mean to you? It's to give opportunity for every woman for them to have a voice. Uh, we want to sneak uh, around a little bit more and we see some of our solos yeah, here around. Our solos. And then this one, um, this particular one, I 
as you notice, my my office is not a typical government office, yes. and I really made it my own. Uh, actually, all of these are all owned by myself, and then this one, I just ordered it because it, it's just so pretty. It's like a it's a village, and it it's parang typical. It's a Filipino. This is by Cobon Pue. This was made in Cebu, so I I I I made sure I, I had this, and then this one, the Chiquita. It's cute, diba? It's it's local, and then people just look at it, but then. It's very comfortable when you sit on it. No, and we it, had it, and we, we yeah, it was very, very comfortable. E- even <laughs> this, even this, oh, actually, this all also, ah, these are all carbon pues, all locally made, and it's just so comfy. I mean, this, this sit, and then this one, oh, it's a goldfish in a bowl. Um, it doesn't work long. There's like a light here, and and it's just so again so pretty, but it's all local and functional, beautiful and, and functional. functional, beautiful and yeah. functional, and then it just goes well with my. Well, the BSP art. Yes. The old and the new. The really old coming and the well new. together. Old well, and the new. before we leave, I think there was a nice surprise for our NSAC team here yeah. in your corner. So, who is your BTS bias? Oh, i sorry. Uh, definitely here. There. Um, Suga, aka August Lee, aka Yugi. He's now in the military. So. Well, we're waiting for him to, and uh, all, all BTS members to come come um, af- uh, after the military 2025 so they can have another concert. One last question before you leave, and thank you so much for having us and letting us get a sneak peek into your day today. So how do we pay for our merienda downstairs? Oh, e-wallet, QR code. Everything here is cashless. Thank you so much, DG okay. Berna. Bye. Um, have fun and thank you for visiting the BSP.